Hello students, uh, I hope you all are fine. Uh, since we have uh, started with the NumPy arrays and we have done matrix addition with NumPy arrays and matrix multiplication with NumPy array in your last uh, class. Today we will do matrix arrays from NumPy. Okay, so uh, import NumPy always uh, import NumPy. Don't forget to do this. Okay, so I said we will do matrix arrays from NumPy. Don't con confuse the other class with this. Okay, that was uh, matrix addition from NumPy arrays, but this is matrix arrays from NumPy. So I will do A is equal to follow the class. Okay, matrix np dot matrix say one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six then we have another array sorry matrix array np dot matrix Watch my spelling, okay? If I uh, make a mistake, then stop me. One comma two, three comma four, and five comma six. So just, uh, I wanna check, uh, let's check with the product, okay? So A, into B, it is giving me this, okay. So we got matrix arrays from NumPy and we have done the product. We can do the other way as well. If we do B, B cross A, we get this matrix arrays. See, it's written matrix arrays. But what we have used, we have used the function NumPy in order to get matrix arrays, okay? Fine. Now, if I want to check uh, the type of A, so what do I do? I just simply write type of A. I hope you all remember this, okay? And it'll give me the class. It shows me the type. It shows that this is a class of uh, uh, Python of NumPy, matrix life, and all the details are given here. Okay, now uh, if I want to uh, uh, learn about uh, transpose of arrays, we can do from this only. Suppose I want to make a equal to np dot a range. I hope you all remember the functions a range and lin space. Separately, I have taught in a, a single class. Yes, okay, fine then. So I'm using a range over here and I'm reshaping that, reshape three comma four, reshape in this format, okay? So a range will give me uh, from zero till 11, 12, uh, uh, items I will get, but from 0 till 11. So the upper limit is not touched in case of A range. Okay, so just check uh, what I'm getting. Fine, you have got uh, from 0 to 11 elements in the format of 3 cross 4 matrix. Okay. Now I want to transpose this. So transpose of array can be achieved by simply writing A dot capital T, okay? And see, it has trans done the transpose of the previous array. So it was over here, uh, three rows and four columns. Now it has become four rows and three columns. So it has transposed the entire matrix.
We can also uh, write in another format. We can also write it in this form np dot if you want transpose entire thing uh, mentioned here. Sorry, transpose of a. That also will give you the same thing. So you can write capital T for transpose only, or you can write in this form np dot transpose of a. Okay, whenever you wanted to transpose, you have to write in front np because you're calling that function from numpy. Okay, up till now, is it clear? So you now know how to uh, uh, form matrix arrays from numpy and transpose of array. Okay, now I want to uh, do another th thing over here that is the trace. Okay, so let's see with a different uh, example. Suppose np dot a range, I take the value say 16. Okay, np dot a range 16, I reshape that uh, to 4 cross 4. Okay. So NP A range 16, how many terms it will give? I'm, I'm going to say the upper, okay, so it'll show me till 15, okay? So reshape 4 comma 4. I just want to check, it gives me this uh, 4 cross 4 matrix with elements from 0 to 15. The upper limit is not touched. Remember this in case of a range. Okay, now if I want to uh, find out the trace, I just simply write np dot trace as we have written over here np dot transpose. So we will write np dot trace of a fine, and it will give you the value. It's very simple. It's really very simple. Okay, now. If I want to check again A, say, it is this part. Now, if I want to find out uh, NP dot trace, uh, say, A, sorry, comma, zero. Okay, if I want to find out this, A comma zero. Uh, so, it will give me the uh, value of this uh, middle section, the diagonal, okay? That is 10 plus 15 plus 5 plus 0 and it is equal to 30. Now, if I want to, if I write np dot trace, uh, suppose I write uh, a comma 1, what should be my value? Can you tell me in the chat box? Okay, I'm getting various uh, numbers, 9, 27, no, yeah, 18, okay, okay, fine. It will give me 18 because see, uh, A comma 1 means this part, okay, so 6, 11 and 1. So it is above this diagonal elements. So for the next part, if I want to find out, I should write NP dot trace a comma 2 that will give me 9 okay are you following yes similarly for the uh, other side also you can find out np dot trace a comma you have to give a negative sign minus 1 then it will give you uh, values uh, of the other side of the diagonal okay so I have 27, this one, okay? So nine, 14, and four. Okay, it's, yes, another one. <laughs> you can practice on your own as well. A comma minus two if I give, then I'll get 21, okay? 13 and 8, fine. Okay, so practice all of this and we will begin with uh, special arrays in our next class, okay?
Thank you.